Hey guys, I'm Flo and today I come to you with a healthy recipe. Healthy, depending on who you talk to. In this day and age, eating healthy is trending. So I get more and more of requests for healthy recipes. Flo, give us more healthy recipes. Healthy has so many definitions. For me, a healthy meal is one where all classes of food are represented. So if a meal contains all classes of food or most classes of food, I would define it as healthy. A balanced diet, if you will. But for some, if a meal contains wheat flour, that meal is not healthy because those people do not eat gluten. For some, if a meal contains too much carbs, that meal is not healthy because those people are on a strict low carb diet. For some, if a meal contains meat, yes, Lots of Nigerians find it shocking that somebody would not eat meat, but yes, for some people, if a meal contains meat, any kind of meat, even fish, that meal is unhealthy for them because they are on a vegan or vegetarian diet. Even milk in meals is unhealthy for those who are lactose intolerant. So what's your own definition of a healthy meal? Let me know in the comments below. Having said that, this cauliflower wrap is tailored to those who are on a low carb diet or those who are on a gluten free diet but any other person who is not on any special diet can enjoy this wrap i'm not on any special diet and i love it because it's delicious because i don't want you to miss out on this wrap even if you're on a special diet i encourage you i recommend that you watch this video Pay attention to the ingredients and see if this wrap is something that you can eat. Even if it's not, it may just take you substituting just one ingredient and BAM! You have a wrap that you can eat. It tastes as great as it looks. It looks appetizing, doesn't it? Here are the ingredients you will need. Cut up the ingredients as shown and rice the cauliflower. That's another way of saying grate it. Divide the ingredients into three, beat one egg and mix with a third of the peppers and cauliflower and some salt. Set that aside. Fry the bacon, mushrooms and onions. No need to add oil because the bacon will give you oil. Then clean up the pan and fry the cauliflower omelette. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, an omelette. I'm using carrot oil here. I wonder how many people need the recipe for the carrot oil. Let me know in the comments, all right? If you are on a strict low carb diet like keto, you may want to use coconut oil.
spread it out as much as possible and once the top cakes and the bottom is well cooked it's done do this on low heat so that the underside does not burn before the top is cooked serve it as shown with your favorite drink Enjoy!